Now we're going to explain dentinogenesis. Dentinogenesis means formation of dentine from odontoblasts. Okay. Now we will see where the odontoblasts they arise. Okay. Basically, ectoderm. The from the origin is from where the odontoblasts they arise is ectoderm. After ectoderm, they get modified and form the neuroectoderm. And then they lead to the formation of neural crest cell and from there ectomesenchymal cell, dental papilla, and finally odontoblast. Now to explain dentinogenesis, we will first uh, describe how odontoblast is formed. Okay. Odontoblastic differentiation. Number one. Inner enamel epithelium. They produce a signaling molecule and growth factor that affect the outer cuboidal cell of dental papilla in order to form the odontoblastic cell. Now here this is inner enamel epithelium okay, that will form ameloblasts in the future okay, that lead to the formation of dentine and this is the outer layer of the dental papilla which is cube in shape okay. And the distance, the gap between these two cells is acellular zone. They contain matrix plus collagen fiber. And this dot, this is the signaling molecule produced by the amyloblast or inner enamel epithelium that will induce or stimulate the outer cuboidal cell of the dental papilla in order to differentiate and elongate in order to form the odontoblastic cells. Now initially this cell they are cube, less cytoplasm, less number of organelles and nucleus centrally placed. Then after that when the outer cell of the dental papilla is being stimulated by the signaling molecule and the factor what happened, uh, cellular changes takes place. What happens is that this cell they start to elongate, okay, columnar size, okay. Uh, nucleus they go uh, towards the basal okay and increase number of organelles and cytoplasm and the gap between these two cells which we call the acellular zone they reduce in their size and in the end they finally disappear okay and this after that